So as a filmmaker, we like to look at the aspects of the industry as the sexy parts of the industry. We love to look at those parts. We love to look at the Michael Bay's or the Steven Spielberg's and those things. And we like the explosions, the action scenes, car chases, fight scenes, and those different aspects of the film industry. But one thing that we don't focus a lot on is the boring parts of it, <laughs> per se. The, the, the commercials that you see on TV and things like that. Now, not to say that those things can't be exciting. However, there are times where you kind of just make a basic commercial, whether that's for a restaurant, whether that's for like a hotel or anything like that. Those things are not really exciting and they don't really get the blood pumping. But you kind of need those things when it comes to paying the bills and kind of like just staying in business in general. I think that um, it is a huge transition for me lately because I'm turning into a place, I'm transitioning into a, a place where um, I am looking to, I'm looking to per se, I'm looking to bring in more money into the business. Um, and so I'm starting to shoot more commercials and things like that and seeking out clients to work with uh, in order to better their business and also grow my opportunities uh, for the future. I will say that um, I used to do client work back in the day when I was a graphic design artist. I like to call myself an ex-graphic design artist and that's based off of uh, one of the online mentors I really like to listen to. His name is Chris Doe. Um, he calls himself an ex-graphic design artist because he got to a point where the business aspect of being an artist became more important than the actual being the artist part. And, uh, it, and it became more important because, you know, operating on the business side of things is how you get the money, it's how you get the clients, it's how you keep growing as a company, and how you keep doing more and more stuff. So I really do like uh, his thought process of him calling himself an ex-graphic design artist, so I kind of adopted that. Anywho, moving on. So as an ex-graphic design artist, um, I'm really thinking of ways that I can kind of grow and expand, and uh, filmmaking is something I really want to do. And so I'm going to be seeking out more clients to work with to kind of grow my brand and eventually get me to a level of a higher level of income where I can work on more and more expensive projects um, because I need more equipment to do what I do. Um, this job is not an easy one. So <laughs> uh, filmmaking is not a high paying industry um, if you're doing it for yourself. So filmmaking is something I do want to work on. I want to grow, but like I said, it doesn't make a lot of income um, unless you structure it a certain way. So one of the things you do is you look out for clients, people who need commercials, people who need like different things like that. So um, I'm working with a client right now, it's for a restaurant, and um, I definitely need to work on my, my, um, my probing. I did not probe this client enough um, initially, so um, what it means to probe your client is to ask specify questions in order to understand what the client needs and wants, what his pain, what the pain points are, uh, what problem that needs to be solved, and so on and so forth. So I didn't ask these proper questions. And the, and I will say when we submitted, when I submitted the first commercial cut, um, it wasn't exactly what he was looking for. And um, it was something that I was happy with. I was like, hey, this is good. But at the same time, um, my inspiration draws more from like Applebee's and like as far as re restaurants, Applebee's, Ruby Tuesdays, McDonald's, you know, those are the type of commercials that I draw from and things that I look for um, to be seen as like the most prestige or like uh, it's kind of like what you would think that a company would want for their commercial. And that was an assumption and the assumption that I made was turned out to be wrong and so I ended up having to pay for that in time and and uh, not just time but also in uh, <laughs> labor so I've been editing his project for a while now and because um, he he did not like my cut that I sent back um, and he wanted me to 
to check out some of the work that he's had before done for his for his spot and so i looked at it and um i realized that i did not probe this client at all because what he was looking for to be done i didn't do at all so that was on me that was on my fault and so um a lot of times like when you're a creative person or in the creative works or even working with clients in general uh, for projects like this, it's very easy to get frustrated when things don't go according to how you would like them to go. But um, you gotta realize that, like in some aspects, some of it's your fault. Like it's not my fault that he didn't like uh, the work that we that, that I did so far, um, because it wasn't what he was looking for. He was looking for something that was uh, what similarly to what he already had, and. Um, I definitely need to do better when I'm probing my clients in the future. Uh, and so that's something that I'm definitely going to be working on and, and, and figuring that out. But I will say the way that I got this client was one of the best ways I've ever gotten a client. Is that we went, me and the wife, we went to a restaurant on a date. So we were, we were there on a date together and we went to this restaurant and... Um, while we were there, it was like a, we have we had like a content creation date. So throughout the date, it was a full day of just hanging out and making videos and taking pictures and stuff. And it was a beautiful time. Like it was awesome. We came out with some dope pictures and stuff. But um, and the video we made for them, um, we tagged them in it on Instagram. And once we tagged them in the video, it was. Um, it was, uh, what was it? It was, um, I guess they got the notification for it. And when they got the notification for it, they actually commented on it and they actually sent me a message. was like, hey, we really love this, this video and that we thought was really awesome. And so I was like, oh, great. That sounds, that sounds really cool. Um, if, and I let them know that, hey, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm also a filmmaker in the area. If that is something that you guys are looking for, like commercials or anything like that, just let me know and then we'll, we'll set something up. And so um, they let me know that uh, it's definitely something they're looking to do, more advertising. And um, they'll let me know. And I will say two months later, uh, two months later, they hit me back up asking me like about my rates and everything like that. And so that was really cool that a video project, a small one, that I did for free on Instagram and I tagged the business in it, it turned into a paid project. And so that was really cool and I'm planning on working with a lot more custom, like more clients in the future and it's something that I know that I really need to work on my probing um, if I'm gonna be working with more clients like this in the future. Um, definitely gotta work on my probing, gotta work on making sure that I'm, I absolutely know what the client needs and wants before we actually get going with the project and uh, I just have to take better control of those situations. But overall though, I'm really happy with um, how we went from a Instagram post to a customer. And then once this project is finished, I would love to see it go from, um, I can use that finished product to pull in more customers and other different businesses and other different industries and things like that. I would love, love, love to see um, that grow into something even bigger and better. And so I'm really excited about it. I'm really happy about it. And um, I would post it here, but I have not get, gotten paid yet. And I would hate for somebody to strip the video off of YouTube and, uh, and use the video without paying me. Now, I'm not saying that they will do that, but you know it's just like the rules of boxing it's the same for the rules of business protect yourself at all times but anyway guys um that those are my thoughts for the day i'm really excited about you know this opportunity growing into something bigger and better and uh, i can't wait to see what we can do for even the future so uh yeah i'm really happy about this <laughs> anyway um it's your boy nitro hot fire and uh i'm out peace